and our son is turning 17 months um, this year. Uh, sorry, this month. <laughs> she gave me the kiss me. Take two? Take two, take two. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. There's so many looking at me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sabrina and I'm in tech. Hi, I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm in finance. Uh, we have two children. Say one, take two. Hi, my name is uh, Thurston. I'm uh, in the finance industry and uh, my son is uh, coming to one and a half years old. Hi, I'm Valerie. Um, I'm doing sales in the automotive industry. No need to reveal age. Right? Oh, oh no need to reveal age. First three months actually during the newborn phase. I think obviously we didn't know what to do as first time parents. We were thought to be prepared that he will wake up every three hours because chances are you need to feed regularly. So the first three months we were like, okay, if he's waking up every three hours, it's fine, it's part and parcel of growing up, yeah, you know, for at, at that age. But then we were like, hmm, this is like very different. <laughs> Completely different thing. Because we didn't know what to do, we didn't know how to feed them and like he wouldn't really sleep. I think he cried most of the night. So it was pretty tough back then because um, even though I was still on maternity but having to wake up every hour to feed him or even to coax him back to sleep that was not uh, easy. But it was, it was tough. And, and to me that month felt like a month long flight basically. Restless sleep. To some extent, it's not proper sleep. Yeah, I became basically like a zombie. <laughs> Couldn't really function properly. I, I think the reason why we wanted uh, professional help is because... When he was around 9 to 10 months, he started to wake up more frequently. After that, it became a situation where he just would not sleep. So because of that, his lack of sleep also affected his uh, eating, his, his eating habits uh, and his, his drinking habits during the day. That was also even more tough because it was just kind of really taxing on our bodies. Um, I, I know that I was feeling exhausted most of the time. Um, then we realised that you know this lack of sleep isn't getting us anywhere because a mix of hormones and the lack of sleep. Um, so I think it's a combination of all of those factors. Um, to want to, you know, kind of get Zoe in. Um, also because I heard she's the best. But yeah. She said it all. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to add. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, so I think when you're frustrated, you do all that you can. So I think the first avenue that I tried was Google searching. So I typed in best sleep trainer in Singapore, Zoe's name came out. And we decided to explore this. Uh, because we already knew at that point in time about sleep training, it's just that it wasn't something that we actively explored. Mm -hmm. Because um, before that, our impression of sleep training was that, okay, you just um, put him down and let him cry himself to sleep, mm -hmm. uh, given the situation. So I think um, that's when we discussed and we said, let's, let's explore this. So um, I, we had a consultation with her. And uh, through the consultation, I think sitting prepped us as to what to expect. She also explained like what the principles behind uh, the whole sleep training program are like. And she you know, went through um, a home meeting to understand you know, what the situation was with our son and with us. So I think from her first visit, she really put us at ease. She also explained like what the, the whole idea and the principles behind uh, the whole sleep training program are like. It has made us aware of a lot of things uh, that we're not aware of. I think going from Mum B to having a proper night's sleep, um, you know, for us was invaluable. Setting up this uh, this whole program and you know um, helping so many people like us mm. uh, regain our evening times and uh, you know uh, a lot of our sleep and sanity. Mm. Yeah. It was so pragmatic to a point where we were able to integrate it into our everyday lives. When he managed to sleep on his own, we went for a lot more date nights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Zoe's five-step process and program was easiest to follow. I mean, kudos to her for making it the easiest thing for sleep-deprived parents to follow. So I really, you know, want to thank her, not only for you know her being there for that six to eight weeks, but I think she's really changed our lives. Yeah, thank you so much, Sleep Super Nanny, and thank you, Sitting, for giving us back our lives. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Hard for you all. <laughs>